Remember religious hero Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk who suffered a five-day incarceration for not marrying gay people? And then went on a worldwide anti-gay media tour to tell us that the First Amendment lets you do whatever you want as long as you say it's your religion. Ugh, what an amazing way to get famous. But now a sinister someone wants to stand in her way, and it happens to be one of the gay guys whose way she stood. In. We went down to the clerk's office and were denied a marriage license uh, repeatedly. And then she told us, you know, basically that we were going to have to face God, right, and, and his judgment. This is David Ermold, and this is Kim Davis denying David a marriage license. I'm willing to face my consequences, and you all will face your consequences when it comes time for judgment. And this is David registering with Kim to try and take her job as county clerk. Drama. David Ermold returned to the Rowan County Courthouse yesterday with his husband. He met with Davis as he filed his paperwork to run for office. So we're in Kentucky to discover the menacing motivations of the, the gay who would be clerk. Would you say this is a revenge plot? Oh, absolutely not. I would like to restore the integrity of the office down there. I would like to restore the reputation of Rowan County. You know, we are a wonderful place to live. Because you wouldn't be the first, you know, gay person to seek revenge. Right. Buffalo Bill, <laughs> Ursula. Jafar. 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 Most cartoon villains I find are gay. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Don't you think you're taking away Kim's inalienable rights to take away other people's inalienable rights? She doesn't have the right to take other people's rights away. Isn't so it no. in the Constitution somewhere? No, absolutely not. Oh, I gotta read that thing. No, it's just so long. I should not have to drive five miles down the road in order to get the same service that a straight couple walking into that office would get. Oh, so he'd offer the same services to everyone. Well, we decided to put that to the test. What if this couple came in? Would you give them a marriage license? Sure. Oh, okay, well, actually, the couple is this dog and this man, and this is just their fun friend. Yeah. Okay, well then, how about this couple? Sure. Sure. Well, what you don't know is they're looking at a video on their laptop called How to Be an ISIS. You just married gay ISIS. This is America's premier gay ISIS couple. I'd hate to be in your shoes. So David has locked in the gay ISIS dog vote, but as Kim Davis's lawyer pointed out, all David has is one issue, not like Kim. Kim is much more qualified to be county clerk. She met the Pope to talk about gay marriage. And she taught Romania how gay people shouldn't be married. And she's writing a goddamn book about scary gay people. You know, typical county clerk stuff and not a single issue candidate. Is David even qualified for the job? I have two master's degrees from Moorhead State University. Whoa, how wow. long did that take? 14 yeah. years? No, it only took me four years. It before. took me eight to get an undergrad. Yeah, that's really good. Um, communication in English is what I majored in there. So I teach at a Christian university right now. See, that's the thing, though. You're a teacher. So yes. how are you going to learn to do this new job? You're exactly. not a learner. You're a teacher. It's the opposite. No, it's a leadership position. And you have to manage a team of people in order to make sure that they're doing their jobs correctly. I'm worried yeah. because you seem qualified and motivated. And you're worried because... Well, I just think you could win. Right. And we've sort of staked a lot of claim on being the only two gay guys who like Kim Davis, so... Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you made the wrong choice. Oh, no. He can staple... file... And he has embroidered hats? He can do this job, and he's qualified. But if people like David win, then what's going to happen to elected officials who use a crude understanding of the Constitution to impose their religious beliefs on others? our politicians are not going to stand up for our rights, then it's up to us to actually do that ourselves. Oh my God! We've got to warn Kim Davis that he's going to take away her right to take away other people's rights! Kim! Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do, you know, do you know that David Ermold is coming for Kim Davis's job? Oh yeah, I know David. Yeah? I'm voting for him. What, what? Democrat? No, we're Republican. Oh no. my God. It's spreading! No. It's spreading! No. Hey, David Ermold is coming! I'm voting for you. No. Oh, Kim! Kim! Oh, God. Where is she? Where are you? Kim! Why isn't she more readily available? <laughs> Kim? Hi. Kim. We finally found her. Kim Davis. Did you know there's qualified candidates running against you yeah. in the upcoming election? Yeah. 
and he doesn't even want to use religion to take away people's rights. And that apparently has made a lot of people upset, so yes. we just wanted to warn you. Media whore to media whore let you know. Yes, because we're like, you will do basically anything for attention. Yeah. Do you still have Huckabee's number? Because we need him to tell Ermold not to run. But you know. Keep fighting the good fight, Kim, all right? Yeah. <laughs> we warned Kim, we stopped civic engagement, David Ermold is done. <laughs> With our help, Kim can still win. We just have to make sure that no one goes to davidermold.com to learn more about the election that's on May 22nd.